Eddie Bauer is not usually a brand that I pick up. However, this one has a good look to it. Eddie Bauer Seattle suede jacket. It's almost cut like a, or it is cut like a Levi's Type 3, like denim trucker jacket, as you can see. Super clean. And there's been a few of them that have sold on eBay. So I'm going to give this one a shot. I really like the look of it personally. So we're going to test it out, see how it does. Pretty cool shirt here. This is like a vintage tourist destination vacation t-shirt single stitch there's the tag here really cool you can see by the folds here it's never been worn just folded up in someone's closet probably for a long time super clean no stains or anything so we are gonna grab it Got ourselves a women's north face 700 fill goose down puffer jacket don't know if you can see it in the lighting but it's a little dirty around like the collar here but there are no holes no rips anything like that so i'm gonna see if I can treat this thing, get it cleaned up a little bit, and get it sold, because things actually sell pretty well. L.L. Bean as a brand is kind of hit or miss. Some of their stuff does really well, some doesn't. Uh, I'm going to pick this up, though, because it's got a nice pattern. It is brand new with tags, and it's got wooden buttons, as you can see. So I think that justifies me picking it up for the price I'm going to be paying here. It's super lightweight, so like around a dollar. We'll grab it. We pick up these three hats. We've got bullet whiskey whiskey and bourbon is always a huge market so these are pretty cool i like the, the nice like patinaed look to it got two of them and also a north high brewing hat this is local to columbus here uh, i've sold this exact hat a couple different times for like 15 dollars i figured i'd probably pick up this polo full zip hoodie it's nice and heavy weight it's a size 2xb which is good bigger sizes typically sell for a little more money it's gonna be five bucks so i'm gonna grab it also just found this Blink-182 snapback hat. It is officially licensed. And from the small amount of research that I just did, it looks like it's from their, it looks like you can currently buy this on their website. So I just saw a sold comp for a brand new one on eBay for $60. So could be pretty good, maybe 30 bucks or more. Vintage Catatelli maker out of Ohio. It's all in there. Cool looking box. I'm gonna grab it, $6 comps look pretty good so should be a win looking through the pants here got a nice pair right here Rourke straight fit kind of like a chino style pant but Rourke it's a good brand here's the back patch with their logo on it I'm gonna be paying seven bucks so these are pretty cool these are Nike women's like Air Max uh, platform sandals never seen anything like these before but they're really clean they're gonna be like six dollars so pretty sure these are gonna be worth it so they just put this on the rack but cool probably know this brand seven dollars really nice men's jacket full zip super clean seven bucks we'll get it Patagonia organic cotton shirt gonna be a no-brainer as long as all the buttons are there got ourselves a Filson flannel hardly ever find this brand but obviously it's really good I don't think this specific flannel is going to go for crazy money, but it should definitely sell pretty fast. So we're definitely going to grab this. I haven't looked this up yet, but I've got to think it's going to be worth it for five bucks. We've got the older polo tag, Western pearl snap shirt, coupled with the unique color pattern. It's got to be a good one. This is pretty cool. This is a vintage Milek goalie mask. It's got like the Jason Friday the 13th look to it. Seltzer is actually pretty good. Currently 32 sold in the last 90 days and I think there's 34 listed. So hopefully I can catch the tail end of the buying season for Halloween. Get this out listed today and hopefully get it sold quick for like 35, 40 bucks. Also just found a pair of Rule 925 denim jeans. Always keep an eye out for these. Six dollars. They sell pretty good. workwear jacket it's gonna be nine dollars it's like a carhartt style i've got to think it's got to be worth more than nine bucks probably 30 plus shipping or so we'll grab it okay so this is cinch this is like a cowboy western brand it's got the dry cleaning tag on it which makes me think that whoever had it before took good care of it so we're gonna grab it i'm gonna obviously do a one tub before i actually buy it but pretty cool and right behind it, we've got ourselves a Wrangler Pearl Snap long sleeve shirt. Love selling these things. It's going to be seven bucks. Got an interesting pair of jeans here. This is just a Banana Republic, but it is Kaihara Salvage Denim. You can see here, got the salvage line. 
so these are gonna be nice. Button fly. Gonna be paying nine dollars, nine bucks. Also gonna look into these Levi's 541s. Just like a really nice color, dark wash. Might grab these, we'll see. It's pretty cool. Like a bleached all over denim jacket. Ralph Lauren denim and supplies, like a discontinued line from them. So I'm gonna look this up, see if it's gonna be any good. Really cool details though. Just noticed the back on this thing too. Pretty sweet. Got a vintage Eddie Bauer goose down filled like parka jacket hooded. It's gonna be five bucks. Comps are pretty good. You know, from like 50 to 150 bucks just depending on the size and style. So I'm gonna look into this a little bit more. Might end up grabbing this guy. Got an LL Bean corduroy shirt for five bucks. Might not seem like anything too crazy, but corduroy LL Bean shirts have like a 200% sell through rate right now. Corduroy is really popular going into the fall season, so it's gonna be a definite pickup. See if I can put my camera down. All right. First things first, I found this brand before. It is actually brand new with tags. The brand is Relwin. They're actually based here in Ohio, but just a brand new flannel. Goes for good money. All right, so I just found a pretty sweet jacket here. We've got the vintage L.L. Bean Flying Tiger jacket in the dark brown leather. These things are just absolutely sweet. Made in USA. This one's in like perfect condition. It's got like a little bit of dirt on it. That'll wipe off. These things go regularly for like 100 to 150 bucks, maybe up to 200 depending on size and condition. It is a little pricey, 50 bucks, but I'm gonna get it. It's gonna fit me. Might keep it if it looks good. If not, quick flip for 100 bucks, so pretty cool. Definitely keep an eye out for Milwaukee branded clothing, the M12 heated gear, so you can put a battery in these guys and heat them up. They sell super quick. This is a camo one, real tree, 13 bucks. Haven't even looked it up yet, but I've had a couple of these in the past, not the camo one, and they've always sold within like two or three days. So I imagine with it being hunting season, camo, this thing's gonna go pretty quick. Did also find this Marlboro denim jacket with the leather collar. It was pretty cool, 20 bucks. I'm not gonna grab that, I'm gonna leave it for somebody else. For the right person, it's a decent deal. They go for like 30 or 40 online. I just don't like smoker stuff, so I'm not gonna grab it. All right, so it's raining outside and it's starting to get a little bit dark, but I wanted to show you guys these jackets because these are probably like two of the oldest clothing pieces that I've thrifted ever. So this is an M1951 military field jacket. It's got the detachable wool lining on the inside. It's like a $200 jacket on eBay, 150 to $200. And then this one here, this one is a M1948 military field jacket cold weather parka there's the tag and this thing is pretty special it's got the authentic coyote fur hood it's also got a pretty cool detail here at the base it's got on the back here it's got the uh, fish tail so you could actually pop these snaps and pull it down pull the back down it's pretty cool so this jacket here there's a couple listed on ebay for like pretty crazy prices a thousand plus thousand to two thousand dollars but i checked the solds over the past three years on terapeague on ebay and nothing really has sold this specific jacket hasn't sold for more than like four to five hundred dollars so i actually found this thing a couple weeks ago listed it and it just sold for 400 bucks so i got a handful of offers for 200 finally somebody offered me an offer of 400 i decided to take it pretty happy with it i don't really have any need for this jacket so Happy to pass it on. It's definitely going to a collector. It's going overseas, so pretty cool. Cool finds. 1948, 1951. Thought it was worth showing. This is a Black Hand Gorge Nature Preserve. That's what the trail looks like. It's like an old road. But we want to come out here because fall is officially here. I think we're probably like a week, maybe two, away from peak leaves. Peak fall leaf foliage colors, but... Uh, it's looking pretty good right now, so we just want to get out. We are over in this area, this part of the state. He's making me come out here. I'm just kidding, it's good for us. Exactly, we want to get some fresh air and spend some time outside. We love the fall, so now's the time to do it. We are going to go down to our one of our favorite little spots. I've shown you in the video before, but 
What the heck? Why not? We like it down here. I hope to find some deer. That's my goal. That's always the goal. Hopefully we'll see a deer. We're going straight. Found our deer. Found our deer. What's up, dude? The big one? Yeah, it's like a decent sized doe. Doe? Wow. Hi, girl. We saw a big old buck. Yep. We saw it's another right deer. Over yonder. Didn't get it on film, but a big buck ran out in front of us. And we're continuing down the trail. About to go into the woods. Pretty interesting. It's like an old oil well. Pump jack. There's the well oh. down there. Oh, I see it coming out. Oh, you do? Go ahead and look at that spout. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's active. It probably just it's kicks active. on. I didn't think it Probably just active. turns on and off. Okay, we got on here. It's been several years since we've been here. But this goes down into this big valley, down along the Licking River. And uh, yeah, there's that old train tunnel we showed you a while back. We're gonna head into there. The perfect season for it. Oh, I remember it now. Yeah, we head down here, we came down here to the left. Great memory of it. Yep, and then we're gonna head down into there. Heading on down the valley. Cool little rock outcrop. And stone. Big ol' rocks. What have we here? What is this? Just random stuff. The memorial. Feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah, because it isn't out of pictures. It's just like a drawing. Is that a blunt? Oh, yep, look, rest in peace. That says RIP hate. Anyway. It's raining, but we can barely feel it in these trees. Careful. Could be. Oh my gosh, it could be. Good? Yeah. If you're falling, just keep those legs moving. Yeah, it's the best thing you can do. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Slippery. That'll break any day. And then it breaks on me. Let's hope not. <laughs> <sighs> Everything's a little slippery right now. Well, it's good to find out this time of year. I know. Bugs. Yeah, there's like no bugs out. Big old sandstone cliffs. Alright, here we are, you guys. We've arrived at the mouth of the tunnel. Really? Yeah. This is super neat. All right, guys, we're taking our step into the gorge. Yeah. Can't remember what these initials stand for, but my mom told me. But uh, it's like the company that built the tunnel or something like that. But anyway, WPA dated. 10, 28, 1936. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I mean, don't put graffiti on the walls, but it says, I love your butt. <laughs> so I would guess that this tunnel is probably, I'm gonna take a picture. what, 100 yards long? Maybe a little more? 130, 140? 
pretty cool. Yep. It ain't much, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're if you happen to be in the area. It's still raining. Still raining. Let's find shelter in the tunnel. Go back through. Sure. That's gonna do it for this one, everybody. Appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye.